Hello traders and investors. Today is Wednesday, November 16, 2022. My name is JC De Guzman of Equilist Analytics. In this video, I'll show, show you my analysis for the Philippine Stock Exchange Index or the PSEI. As of market closing, the PSEI closed at 6,392.09, down by 0.42% or 26.85 points. The total turnover value is at 6.73 billion pesos. There are 92 advances and 82 declines, followed by 49 and change issues. To compute for the market breadth, we will have to divide the number of advances uh, by the number of declines. So that's 92 divided by 82. We get 1.12 as the market breadth in favor of the advances. But even though it's already obvious that uh, we're not yet in a bullish market for today, simply because you know we, we know the number, uh, it's a negative uh, PSEI. The PSEI is in the negative territory for today. For me to say that we have a bullish market, we need to get a market breadth of at least 3.0 in favor of the advances. Now, 51% um, of the uh, total turnover value for today uh, is courtesy of the foreign investors. Of course, 49% goes to the local traders and investors. The net buying amount for today is worth, uh, not actually net buying, but the foreign buying for today is worth 4.23 billion pesos. So 4.23 and the foreign selling is worth 3.15 billion pesos. So to get the net, uh, net foreign uh, amount, we will have to divide uh, uh, the uh, bigger amount, which is the 4.23 billion pesos worth of foreign buying to the 3.15 billion pesos worth of net uh, worth of foreign selling. So it's a net foreign net foreign buying worth 1.8 billion pesos. Now, even though the PSEI is in the negative uh, territory for today, three sub indices or three sectors managed to close in the green zone, uh, led by the mining and oil sector at 0.96%, uh, followed by the services sector at 0.81%, and the third one is the property sector at 0.35%. The, the other, the, 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 in, the indices or the sub-indices or the properties that are in the negative territory are led by the financial sector at 1.30%, uh, followed by the uh, holding sector, at 0.94%, and the th on the third spot, we have the, uh, the industrial sector at 0.31%. So here, the main support that I'm seeing on uh, the PSEI, or for the PSEI, is uh, between 6,000 to 6,100, while the immediate uh, resistance is pegged between 6,400 to 6,500. The, the, the last performance of the PSEI is much closer to the immediate resistance than the immediate support. So uh, we need to keep an eye uh, on this uh, range between 6,400 to 6,500 if uh, uh, the, the international uh, markets, particularly NASDAQ, S&P 500, NYNC, or including Dow, uh, Dow Jones, will... Uh, continue to uh, show uh, green numbers uh, for, for uh, the remaining uh, uh, three trading days of the week in the U.S., we might see the PSEI breaking out above the uh, resistance bond at uh, 6,500. If and when that happens, we will be looking at 6,800 to 6,900 as our next historical uh, resistance level or area. So it's been how many trading days that the PSEI, uh, it's been experiencing an, a net foreign buying day for how many days already? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. For nine consecutive trading days, the PSEI has been bagging uh, a net foreign buying day. So 
this looks good this looks good um, especially for you know if especially if we are uh, waiting for the, the index to break the resistance band between 6,400 and 6,500. The, the MACD is also looking good. It's still trading above the signal line. Uh, I'm not seeing any formation of a bearish convergence between MACD and the signal line. So again, that interpretation is in favor of the bulls. Now for the volume, we don't have any issues at all with the volume of the PSEI. Okay, now let's take a look at the uh, top traded stocks. So top traded stocks, these are the stocks with the highest number of trades. So the first one in the list is Converge, followed by BDO, JFC, Ayala Corporation, and then GTCAP. So those are the uh, five top traded or most traded stocks for November 16, 2022. The most active stocks, when we say most active, these are the stocks with the highest total turnover value they are arranged according to their total turnover value in a des descending order the first one in the list is bdo followed by converge sm prime holdings sm investments and ayala land for the worst losers uh, these are ranked according to their percentage change the first one is reg followed by manila bulletin followed by annie upm and lpc now for the top gainers, again arranged according to their percentage change, we have LBC, we have uh, CAT, LR, T, and JO, GEO. But among this list, or yeah, among this list of uh, top gainers, top 30 gainers, uh, I would rather focus on the ones with the highest uh, total turnover value, particularly the ones with that list. Uh, you know, above 20 million pesos worth of total turnover value, the ones that don't have any volatility issues. Specifically, I'm referring to LR. W what else? We have ASEN, Converge. We can consider DITO, uh, although it, it, has, it only has about 18 million pesos worth of total turnover value for today. Okay, you can consider ASEX as well. CNPF, this is a good, uh, a, a good one because it has a 38 million pesos worth of total, total turnover value. So those, those stocks that I've mentioned. Um, I have a bias on stocks. Well, when I say bias, I, I am particularly referring to my interest in uh, monitoring those stocks further. I'm looking at their total turnover value. So I won't have any problems with the volatility of those, uh, of those stocks. All right, so that's my analysis for the Philippine Stock Exchange Index or the PSEI, the main bellwether index of the Philippine stock market as of closing on November 16, 2022, Wednesday. If you need my assistance, if you, uh, if would, if you would like me to uh, have a one-on-one, -on -one, if you'd like me to train you on a one-on-one -on -one basis online with my evergreen strategy, Please visit equilis.com and read everything on the front page or homepage of my website to learn more about my stock market consultancy services. This has been JC De Guzman of Equilist Analytics, helping you learn how to uh, preserve your capital, protect your gains, and prevent unbearable losses.